Hey folks, I'm in the kitchen, and today we're going to do one of my favorite takeouts, beef and broccoli, except I'm going to do it in a crock pot. Um, I pretty much got everything laid out here. Let's go show you what I got going on. Um, it's a pretty easy recipe I found. Uh, just says put everything in, put everything in the pot and get started. So let me tell you what I got. I have, first of all, this is one cup of the beef broth, bouillon broth, right? Uh, then I had a half a cup of the low sodium soy sauce. I try, I try to use everything low sodium. Um, I have a half, or I'm sorry, I have a quarter cup, one quarter cup of brown sugar. And then a tablespoon of the sesame oil. All right, now this is something that I'm sure you, you've heard me say before. I mean, it also calls for a couple of cloves of garlic. I don't know what that would be. I like garlic, so it says to use three cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to do one uh, tablespoon and hope that's not too much or not like too short, right? And then it tells me to, to go ahead and whisk all this together, all right? So we're going to do that whisk, whisk. Then it wants me to add this. It's a two pounds of just some sliced up um, sirloin steak. I think it was top round. Anyway, so just take that and make sure they're all in there nice and cozy. Now I thought you would have had to cook these something first, but um, it doesn't say to do that. It just says make sure they're covered well in the juice right which i think i'm i'm doing well um and that's about it for this part of it right this is the easy part i'm gonna um i guess this is another reason i'm really liking these crock pot stuff um for a guy like me still learning you know put it in here and let it do its thing and set the you know set the timer over there and come back and check on it um but it does say let it go for on low for probably five hours it said on low now i don't know if that's right or wrong but that's what i'm going to set my clock for and i'm going to check back in on it in a little bit now also once you get about a half hour out uh, from wrapping it up you know i'll put my broccoli in at that point um, and then i've also got to make a, a mixture of uh, like four tablespoons the big ones right four tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water um, I guess that's to help thicken it in the end. Um, and then sesame seed and all that stuff. So anyway, that's about all I have now for this. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in and we're gonna get it going. And I'll see you back here when we get to part two when it's in the crock pot. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a few hours. Hey folks, so we're back. It is time for part two of our crock pot uh, beef and broccoli. So, like I mentioned, I love it. It's great for delivery. Um, so I decided to try to make it in the crock pot. So here's where I'm at. Um, everything going here, right? And I, it, it, I mentioned earlier about having to make this cornstarch, thicken it. It's making it seem like an awful lot, um, but we're gonna keep on going according to directions, only because I know no difference. One. Two, three, and four. It was four and four. Let me stir it up. I'll give it open up this lid here in a second, but I'll get this part done. Now this, like I said, I've done this before. I don't remember what it's called, um, but I know what it's going to do. I know it's going to take this and thicken it right up. Now I've also, once I get this done, I got to add the. Uh, let me get that out. We'll be adding our broccoli. Broccoli at this time too. All right, you ready? Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, man. Smell 
pulse really good. All right, so it says to, to, to mix this in there. I mean, it seems kind of weird with the meat. Doesn't just, yeah, it doesn't say to remove the meat, so I'm going to leave it in there. Maybe that's why I had to mix it up like this. Here we go. Perfect. I can tell already it's thickening it right up. Perfect. Just the way I wanted it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's even fogging my glasses up. You can see my camera. You see my glasses are all fogged up. <laughs> Let me back away for a second while I stir. Okay. Oh, man. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. Okay. We'll put in our broccoli. Now this takes about another half hour, which is perfect. Um, I put this in for five hours when I did. Um, I now have 38 minutes left. It takes about half an hour, it says, so I'm within eight minutes of being perfect timing. It says dump these bad boys right in there. Mix them all in gently. Man, this is going to be good stuff. All right. And um, let me get the broccoli get out of there. So that's that right now. Um, and I'm telling you, it really smells really, really good. So I'll be back in about a half an hour. And we'll go over... Um, one last time as I get ready to uh, pull it out. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be really good. It smells delicious. Um, for the price of one takeout, I'll be feeding four people. So right on. Good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in about a half hour. All right, folks, we're back. And the timer just went off. So it's time to dig in. This will be going now for a total of five hours, four and a half, um, just the meat. The last half hour, I did the starch, or this is what it was, cornstarch, thickened it up, and I added the broccoli at that point. Ready for this? Here. There we go. There it is. So that... That's how it turned out. So let's go ahead and just put a plate together. All right? We've already got the rice all set up right here. Now, I'm not very good at plating. I don't do this very well. So I'm expecting anything super fancy. All right. Take a little bit of sesame for garnishing. Right. Like that. I don't know. Um, looks good. It was easy to make. All done in the crock pot. Um, let you know a little bit later how it actually turns out. Uh, I'll probably take a better picture to show you here in a little bit, but I can hardly wait to dig in. So. I'm going to run, time to eat, and uh, thanks for watching.